new addiction treatment facility opens tomorrow, and today News 5 got a first-hand look. Attorney General Steve Marshall attended today's ribbon cutting at the Pathway Healthcare Office in West Mobile. News 5's Mary Smith joins us now live in the studio, and Mary, what did Marshall have to say? Well, Devin and Peter, as you might remember, Attorney General Steve Marshall's wife passed away earlier this year after battling opioid addiction and depression. So he says it's important not only to enforce the laws, Attorney General, but to make sure we have facilities available for treatment like the one that made its debut today. All right. there we go. A new Pathway Healthcare facility opened its doors this afternoon. Today's a good day in Mobile. It will treat those struggling with addiction on the Gulf Coast. The state of Alabama uh, and, and leads the nation in per capita pain pills prescribed. We're here also to treat all substance use disorders, everything from alcohol use disorder to cigarettes to, uh, to stimulant abuse and those kinds of things. Even Alabama Attorney General Steve Marshall toured the new facility. I think we see this as a public health issue. Law enforcement clearly has a role and we need to make sure that we are affirmatively dealing with those who would traffic in illegal drugs to be able to take illicit drugs off the street. At the same time, we've got to find the appropriate way to be able to deal with addiction going forward. And this has been a public yet personal issue for Marshall. His wife passed away earlier this year after battling addiction and depression. Marshall says access to treatment is badly needed. I saw that personally knowing the circumstances of my family and know that others are facing that same particular issue. This allows for treatment to be more successful and for us to have good options going forward. The West Mobile facility is complete with exam rooms, a lab, counseling rooms and even a group therapy room. And the facility will see its first patient tomorrow. Reporting live in the studio, Mary Smith, WKRG News 5.